All right, so uh, this is kind of a miscellaneous episode, some small tidy up stuff I've been doing, and also the fire suppression system, which I installed. So this is a 4.25 liter uh, fire suppression system. It uses the AF, uh, FF type suppressant, and I have that mounted right behind the cage. I was thinking about using some of the real estate that I have in here on the passenger side to do that, but I wanted to keep it available in case I ever want to put a passenger seat in the car. So I ran, let's say, one, two, three, four, five nozzles on this setup. And uh, so the way it's hooked up, you can obviously just always grab it here and, you know, get this thing kicked on. And the way that most people would do it in an emergency, this cord is wrapped around here through the dash and you just pull that lever. And I put it there so I can reach it in case somebody needs to reach it from my passenger side. They can also reach it and it's nice and easily accessible. So the way that I set up the system was I ran these lines. Uh, these are metal lines, so you need a tube cutter and a tube bender for some places. And I have one nozzle going right towards the, uh, the fuel system in the back of the car. Then I ran it over here, teed it off. I have one aimed at me, the driver. And then uh, ran it down here far away from where any seat would go underneath the dashboard. And... Then I have one more nozzle aimed right at me. So that goes, comes up through the firewall and I have one more nozzle here that's aimed at the, uh, the fuel injectors and the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, that would be a source of a fire. So I thought that'd be a good idea to possibly extinguish that in case it was. And then I have the other one aimed over here. So this is shooting down in line towards the oil filter and the header, uh, the hottest external part of the engine, generally speaking. So again, the way I decided to focus the system was one on the header and the oil filter, one towards the fuel injectors and fuel pressure regulator, and when the fuel line comes up, one on the actual fuel system itself, back here, so onto the surge tank, and then two onto the most important part, so the driver. And I'm extinguishing the driver, me, uh, from underneath uh, facing and blowing backwards and then from behind facing forward. So I think this is a pretty good setup and hopefully I never have to use it. A couple of other small things you'll see here. Uh, I put this mount up here just for the aim solo. I got my Manfrotto super clamp up there for the Garmin Verbi camera and I've been trimming up wires. So there's a lot less wires back here than last time. Plus I got a little bit more to go. As far as wiring stuff up, I have the transponder hooked up to the car down there and the wires going through here and I added a mini fuse box to the setup. So here I got a quick disconnect on everything on the grounds on the power. Nice and simple. Uh, this is going direct to the main fuse box. I need to tidy up where some of the wires are ran but since I'm not done wiring everything I have not yet. But uh, this is a nice setup. Everything is fused. Again uh, if you're doing something, it's worth doing right, especially when it comes to electrical. So that is where I'm at. One other small touch on the car, since it has no more carpet. This is a little trip. This is skateboard tape uh, for the deck of a skateboard. So this, uh, the paint can get pretty wet. If you come in here with wet feet, that gives you just a little bit of extra grip down there. So uh, I did that. You can see I filled in the panel with a blank. This one's good to go. That's from Barrow. Uh, just kind of hooked this up. I'm kind of mocked up. I'll have to find a better home for it. Uh, this is going to be getting replaced like we talked about. Right now, I'm just trying to get some of the uh, bigger items out of the way. And that's it. All right, so a little bit about the surge tank. This is a radium surge tank setup. And what the surge tank does is it takes fuel out of the fuel tank and it puts it into the cylinder. The cylinder itself has a fuel pump in it. And it allows you to run the tank very low while not getting fuel starvation. So basically it takes the fuel pump, the OEM fuel pump, pumps fuel into the surge tank. The surge tank, this one little cylinder holds the fuel. So you can have very little amount of fuel in there and still get fuel flow to the engine. And it just hooks right back up to the stock fuel lines and delivers it to the front of the motor. Uh, nice little setup. It allows you to get the car really light. If you want to kind of use fuel as ballast and run it super low, never have to worry about fuel starvation or anything like that. Uh, it's just a neat little setup. The uh, The only gripe I really have with this is I wish that there was somewhere else to put it. Uh, the setup that they come with 
It really requires to put it right next to the fuel tank. I would really love to have this thing not right behind the driver, not in the cockpit at all if possible. I've seen some guys do some cool stuff and they put it underneath the car. And maybe next year when I take the car apart uh, for a refresh, I'll do it at that time. But for now, this is how it's hooked up.